A Hampton man is charged with animal cruelty after authorities say that he tried to perform a procedure on a dog the doctors say is just for show. It's ear cropping. If you don't know what you're doing, the circumstances can be fatal. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has more on this case and why the practice can be so dangerous. Chris. Anita and Stephanie, you see ear cropping with boxers, Dobermans, Great Danes, Schnauzers, and in this case, it was a pit bull. We're blurring the images we have because this dog had severe cuts. He's going to be okay, thanks to quick action by a neighbor and quick work by the neighborhood vet. When neighbor Jeffrey Eaton and his wife saw two dogs wander over from this house across the street, they didn't think twice until they looked more closely at this one-year-old pit bull. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it looked like someone had taken a pair of scissors and cut its ears off halfway down its ear. They called Hampton police, who notified Animal Control, and soon both agencies rolled up. At first, we thought maybe it got attacked, but I mean, it was a cut like it was sliced, not bit, you know? Animal Control says an officer found blood spatter in several locations on the left side of the house and on the gated fence. Hampton police charged Jared Lesesny with cruelty to animals and practicing veterinary medicine without a license. We knocked on the door, but no one responded. A woman, police identified as his girlfriend and the dog's owner, Haley Forrest of Yorktown, is charged with no dog license and failure to vaccinate. Hampton Animal Control brought the dog to this hospital, owned by veterinarian David Brinker. Sutured the wounds and stopped the bleeding and got him on some pain medication, mm -hmm. antibiotics. You expect he'll recover okay? Yes. Brinker says ear cropping is not for amateurs. As far as somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, sure. doing it, yeah. all sorts of problems. You know, the dog could bleed to death. There's major blood vessels in the ears, and if the bleeding isn't stopped, it could uh, cause major problems. A judge will decide whether the pit bull can be returned to its owner. Dr. Brinker says he tries to talk dog owners out of having ears cropped. He says it's just for show. It does not benefit the dog one bit. The reason he continues to do them at all, so people won't try to do it themselves. Live in the newsroom, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.